Right. So, like, don't be mad, but you kind of got clickbaited a second time. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, it's Lainey here. Welcome back to another video. Oh, my dog already wants to make an entrance. Okay, come up, up. And I decided this is what we're going to do for now. Oh my god, hi. So, I wanted to show my face on YouTube, but not fully. But I still wanted to be able to do, like, live videos, so... Right now, I'm just gonna be wearing a mask and going about my day, cause I used to just do gaming videos, as you guys know, and I really haven't done that in a long time, at least like over a year. And I had one video literally like ready to post, I just need to like do some finishing touches, and my brain was just like, mm-mm, no, you don't wanna do this. So I kinda am just stuck with my channel right now, so I decided to take a new turn with my content. Which is probably going to be like about 30 minutes of awkward rambling but yeah so hope you enjoy it it is currently 4 41 and five seconds i was kind of thinking i could do just like a mini little tour of the area just my gaming setup gaming setup that sounds really cringy saying out loud but just like the area i record in okay so i have Two water bottles here they have the little time stamp thingy on them so i'm literally obsessed with water and i'm drinking it 24 7. i don't know if you're gonna be seeing me drinking a lot of water on camera because i have my mask on and i'm gonna have to cut that out but it's okay this is a vr set but it's not fully functioning i mean it is but it's like one of the cardboard box style ones like you know there's certain vr sets that are like you can really like play VR video games on there. This one's more just like you look around and it like moves with it if you download an app from the app store. And that has a little remote here, but it doesn't really work. Like this doesn't make you walk around or do anything. It just kind of, I don't know. I don't really know what it does. I probably should figure that out. Also, don't mind the fact that my nails are like completely demolished. I got to redo them. And then computer, we got fake plants because I could definitely not keep up with real ones. Um. We got these headphones. They do have cat ears, slightly embarrassing, but you know what, it's okay, they're kinda cute. Com not computer stand, uh, headphone stand thingy, bunny, which mind you, this literally was labeled as a toddler's toy, but you are not allowed to make fun of me for it. Wired headphones, rip off AirPods, because I do not have enough money to get friggin' like $200 AirPods. Um, oh, this is beautiful, crusty mirror, because I was trying to get my camera set up right camera quote unquote my phone oh by the way my phone has this like i don't know if you can see it but it's like one of those like game boy style phone cases except it's kind of broken because the buttons there got ripped out my dog just ran off somewhere um sign thingy my beautiful ancient wii u and the gamepad over there um this is literally like seven years old but i love it so it's okay and then ipad that's kind of just chilling there and then microphone! My microphone is very tiny. Okay, I probably don't want to touch it. Oops, focus, hello. My microphone is very tiny, I probably don't want to touch it, and hopefully this audio has been picking up, because I haven't been super close to it. And then this is just like, standing still tripod thing. Okay, let's actually get to the point of the video now, which is going through all those school supplies back there. You can't really see them, because they're in a bag, but we're gonna do it. All right, so first things first, before I get into any of the new school supplies, I have my sketchbook. Now, we are not gonna be going through my sketchbook because I only have a couple drawings in there and it's not worth going through, but I do have two stickers that I wanna put on there and I'm planning on getting more stickers because I just, oh wait, why'd I, hold on, I wanna put this one on first actually, because I wanna just fill every surface possible with stickers because I have too many stickers to count. And I'm just gonna start with these and go from there. All right, now I'm gonna unpackage the new stuff. First of all, there's this tote bag I bought. And this bag I really love, I got it on Amazon. I just wanted to get a cute canvas tote bag aside from my backpack so I didn't have to carry around a big binder or case it thingy all day because those never last and I don't really like how they look. There's this, it's basically just sun and moon and pretty designs. And now let's get into the actual stuff. Some stuff I bought is pretty simple, like my pencils and stuff. Then we have this cute stuff. This is a pencil holder and I'm just go through and unbox all this real quick.
right so i'm done unboxing all the stuff i unboxed the last bits of it off camera like the pens and highlighters but first of all we have well okay i didn't unbox this i kind of lied i didn't unbox this or this or this because i'm kind of just planning on keeping them in their package for now or like putting a couple pencils in the pencil case i'll figure that out but basically we have four notebooks i actually expected these to be kind of bigger when i got them because normally i think notebook sizes are like this much bigger like this is like okay this is bigger than my hand but they're normally a little bit bigger this is like the size of like a game case well basically it's a little bigger but um so yeah i got two of this design and oh god that's loud and two of this design it was completely random i didn't know what i was getting there were like four different designs possible and I ended up getting two of each, which is okay. Or like two of each one that I got. There's four total though. And, oh, I didn't realize it has cute little uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday on it. Um, I'm hoping this will be enough this year for notes and stuff because I'm not normally crazy on note taking. Like I'll take notes, but I'm not the type of person that'll fill five pages with info on a certain war subject in math um so i think this will be good for me honestly and they're cute and i want to put stickers on them i'll probably put stickers on the back especially over the whatever this is so yeah we got two of each of these then i got two types of sticky notes again these were coming like at random but i got these which are super cute and these so cherry and strawberry perfect I got a lot of pink theme going on with this. Then, cat paw ruler. It was also technically random. I was either gonna get this or a pink one. Kinda wish I got the pink one, but it's okay because there's still pink on the thingy here. It's very tiny. Is this just me? Is it just me or is this a very small ruler? It's okay, it looks cute. And then, this, this is all folded up. Ooh, okay. Got the pencil case. I don't know if this is gonna be too small. I didn't go too crazy on getting a lot of school supplies this year. Like, I used to get this whole box of school supplies from the school itself, and I really don't see a need for that anymore. I just buy what I think I'll need from the school supply list. And if I don't have something, my friends will have it, so it'll be okay. Why is this so difficult to unfold? Okay, here we go. Ooh, magic. Um, yeah, this will definitely fit stuff. I also think... I'm supposed to have a pair of scissors for school, but my scissors are blue and I kind of want to have a pink theme, but I'm not going to make my mom buy another pair of scissors because that's just obnoxious. So I think I'm just going to go into school without scissors and it'll be fine. I can just rip stuff. So we got this, we got, I don't know, should I put the sticky notes in here? I feel like I should keep the sticky notes out, but then I feel like they're going to get bent and destroyed, but they kind of take up a lot of room. Eh, I mean... This is very difficult. I think I'm just gonna leave them out. And then we have beautiful highlighters. These are brand new. I got six highlighters. One, two, three, four, five, six. This color did not look this dull on the um, website, but it's okay because it'll still kind of, oops, it'll still kind of match this. I was trying to get something that would match so I could kind of color code my notes. Let's test this out on my beautiful new sticky notes. So we're gonna do light pink first. Is this even pink? I don't know, I think it is. Oh wow, adjusting my camera angle really makes it more crisp. Maybe I should just keep it like this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Sorry it randomly changed, but. Oh, this is more of like a purple, okay. I don't know how well it's showing up on this paper because it's kind of more like pinky toned paper. But okay, this is kind of more of a purple shade. I probably shouldn't have gone over it multiple times. Wait. Okay. I think I'm just bad at using highlighters because I keep making it smudge at the end. Wait, is this the purple? No, this is pink. Okay, these are very light, but you know what? It's okay. I think they'll dry darker. I think that's how it works. Pink. Oh, is this blue? Oh, I thought this was like gray. I think this is a blue or a green. Yeah, this is like kind of tealish. Wee. Okay, that's beautiful. Um, did I already do this? Okay, what color is this then if the other one is purple? Blue? Yeah, okay. So this is like 
purple. Well, this is actually kind of more gray toned. This is like gray toned purple, pink, teal, blue. This is like an actual blue, yeah. So pretty. I'm so excited. This is making me very happy. Ah, um, this is purple, like definitely purple. Yeah, I think this is honestly more of just like a muted rose type color. I need to leave room on this. I still have to swatch the beautiful pens over here. This color is definitely more, I was gonna say it's gray, but it actually looks kind of more like brown or just like kind of off-toned colors. I think these are cute though. They're a little more like muted pastels and I'm fine with that. Okay, now let's do the pens. Oh, wow, it has like a thingy on the end of it. Is that, was that supposed to happen? Yeah, I think so. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do like, oh wait, is it gonna, wait oh it has a tip on it it's a tip wait wait is it i don't want to break it Ugh. wait i think this is a tip that i have to remove off the pen i'm scared i'm gonna break it guys oh my god wait i'm gonna try this on the white one yeah they all have this red tip i think that's supposed to come off yeah there we go okay i was scared i was gonna break it does the white even show let's try it on here Oh, it's black. <laughs> it's not white. I thought it was a white pen. I was really confused. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so nice. It's so thin. Okay, I have total horrible handwriting, but I'm just gonna write something. Yeah, I'm not that fancy, but it's okay because cool people have bad handwriting. Right, I forgot you have to take the tips off of each of them. I have to like grab onto the edge of it. Edge of it. Okay, is this gray? Is this also black? What the hell? Oh my god, please don't tell me they're all black. Wait. If they're all black, I'm literally gonna be like crying myself to sleep. You're kidding me. Oh my god. I seriously thought these were gonna be like color coded thingy things. What if I just try one more? Actually, no, I don't wanna open the rest of them. See, this is why we unbox stuff ahead of time, because then we get to see before school actually starts. Okay, regardless, I still have these beautiful, amazing highlighters that I'm gonna treasure with my life. Put these in here. Should I keep this? I feel like I should keep this for like memories. Ooh, sticky. I'll just put this here on my little ledge thingy. Okay, I feel like I should put these in here. I don't know if I should put them in here. You know what, no. I already made up my mind. I'm leaving them here. Then we got index cards. I'm just gonna leave these like this until anyone says we need them because we barely ever use them. Here's an actual black pen, which I guess I didn't need, but I already had them from like years before. Color pencils. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. It was so annoying because online on the Target website, it said they were a dollar for a 12 pack or like for an eight pack. And then I came in the store and it was like $3. And I'm the type of person that if it's if they say I'm gonna pay a dollar, I wanna pay a dollar. Like, oh my gosh, my sticky note fell. Maybe they're not so sticky after all. Okay. Um, it fell again. I'm just gonna leave it. You guys can enjoy it. And now we have 24 pencils. We're gonna start school with two pencils, a brave two. Ow, I just bent my nail. I think I'm just gonna keep my pencils somewhere accessible, separate from all my other random utensil, not utensil, like stationary stuff. Let's just keep it, I'm gonna put it here, right next to my Wii U, very accessible. And this, I wanna keep this. I feel like it's like a memory, you know? I'm just gonna put it on my desk. I mean, not my desk, my dresser. So this is basically it. Now I think I'm gonna start putting stuff in the tote bag. I'm gonna just literally throw the stuff in here. Not throw it, I'm gonna neatly arrange it. See, okay, so I'm just gonna like put that there. And then these four here. I don't really need to neatly arrange it because it's not like it has pockets and it's not like anything's gonna stay in place. I'm just trying to make sure it's kind of stacked, I guess. Um, this, I'm gonna put the bottom of it facing that way because the bottom of the tote bag's that way. And then, actually no, I'm gonna put it sideways. And then, these. Okay. 
This is filling up pretty quickly. Actually, no, I still have a lot of space. It's just folded inwards. Okay, put this in here. And then, oh, I do have my sketchbook. Let me grab that. The two glorious stickers. One is just a Black Lives Matter sticker, the rainbow. And then empowered women, empower women. Guys, I'm a feminist. I'm literally like insane. Hashtag um, women, hashtag women, guys. And I'm gonna just slide this in here. If it'll fit. Hello. Cute. Maybe actually I should put this in my backpack because I do have a backpack that I'm planning. Because I do have a backpack that I'm planning on putting my computer case in. This is from last year. The back of it shows very much from last year. The thread got ripped out of here, so it's not exactly that protective anymore. But you know what? I just won't drop my computer. Um, this isn't one that you like have on your computer while you're typing. I put it in there and then zip it up. It keeps it sturdy while I'm walking around. Cause my school, there's a lot of walking and a lot of floors. Um, but yeah, it's a Death Note. Oh, there's a baby next door screaming. I do not know how to feel about that. But yeah, Death Note, it has an Apple, Light, Ryuk. I am actually a pretty big fan of Death Note. But um, I also have this beautiful thing that I got. Um, I don't know why I'm like stroking his hair, but um, I got this a couple Christmases back and I'm really grateful for it. It's really amazing, honestly. And it's super cute and it sits on my shelf. I think this, I'm keeping my backpack and my sketchbooks. I don't exactly need to be bringing this with me to every class. But then again, what if I wanna draw like in the middle of class when I'm done with something, you know? You know what, it's fine. I can just bring it to like art class and stuff if I know I have it. And then my backpack, very basic, not probably living up to your expectation of being fancy, judging off of this beautiful design. I want to get something embroidered on here or get those like iron-on patches. For one thing, I really want to get the heart stopper leaves embroidered like somewhere around here because it's literally just completely blank. It did have a pink ribbon that went through this and there is, um, let me find it. This is a chain that clips on from this top ring. To this one on the side here um, and it just has I have like a little flashlight thingy this is very basic and then actually cute stuff I have curl me and my melody but they are so dirty oh my god I probably need to clean them and then promise Neverland character keychain and I think there might have been some other stuff but I might have took it off while I washed because I had to wash my backpack so yeah, I do really want to get the Heartstopper leaves embroidered on here. My friend knows how to embroider. I don't, but I do have thread, like embroidery type thread and um, a lot of sewing needles for like hand sewing. So maybe I'll figure it out, who knows? But I don't have one of those things that like hold it tight while you do it so it doesn't mess up. That is basically it. I think this is all for now. I might add some pins around here, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is literally my first ever live video where I show my actual face. In the past, I had like an animated version of me. That was basically just an animated version of my Roblox avatar here. It'll be somewhere. It's in the corner. Just just look, okay? It's in the corner. Um, but that girl had white hair. She did have the gamer girl, gamer girl headphones though, so you gotta give me that. I was being realistic. But she had white hair and that animated character did not look like me because number one facial structure exists and you can't really do that with an animated character not that you really are getting much of my facial structure now anyways because the mask but you know you see my life got green eyes got ginger hair that animated version did not look like me whatsoever my roblox avatar in the past has looked like me at points i've kind of switched between like pink and ginger and white hair and i think no, I never had blonde. My old Roblox avatar in like 2018, 2019 had that. But that was on an old account. I hope this video does well. I know I haven't interacted with any of you guys in so long. My Instagram is very dead. I honestly might just, I don't know. I might make a new Instagram account. For one thing, I think I unlinked that Instagram so no one can even find it anymore, but it has like over a thousand followers, but it's very dead. So I'm just hoping that my account will be able to grow from this, from me just making some more content of me just living my life 
and I might still do some gaming videos. If so, I might do face cam if I can set that up because I normally record videos on my iPad because bigger screen, it's easier to play. And then on my phone, I can do the face cam because it has better camera quality anyway. You wanna say goodbye? Charlie, Charlie, come here. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Charlie says goodbye. Subscribe. <laughs>